Hey YouTube, this is Mystic Veteran. Uh, I'm deciding to do a one card reading for the full moon tonight. It is a full moon, uh, full wolf moon, uh, because the moon in January is called the wolf moon. And it's also the first full moon of the new year. And uh, I decided to pull one card from my Halloween Oracle deck. By Stacy DeMarco. Let me look at that. And I kid you not, when I was shuffling, I shuffled like three times. I, I sh no, actually, I shuffled six times. I've divided it three times. And when I pulled out a card, this is what I got. And it is a full moon in the background, and it is a werewolf. And that's funny because it's a wolf moon. So. It says, Werewolf, Exploring Wildness. Let me let you take a good look at it. So it's like basically a werewolf um, surrounded by, I want to say tree branches. And it's a, it's a male werewolf. And he's howling at the full moon. And I will get you the definition. Hold on. All right. So, I will focus on the card instead of trying to focus on the actual booklet because it tends to zoom in and out a lot because it's trying to autofocus. I still haven't figured that out yet. So, Werewolf, Exploring Wildness. Luminosity triggers it. A wild moon rises. Pain and blood and fangs, fur and howling and wolfing guises. After a painful, excruciating, bone-jarring struggle against the change, the man releases to the magic, howling unrestrained under the full moon. Now the half-man, half-wolf rises up, snarling, and goes looking for blood. Yes, we all know the power of the werewolf. At the uh, end of the European Witch Trials, an intense interest in the werewolf developed in folklore tales and evolved to become the stuff of horror stories. Fairly consistent, consistently since then, the wolfman or lichen has featured regularly in tales both oral and written. Of course, during the last 100 years, there have been many hugely popular movies, including American Werewolf in London and themes and books such as the recent Twilight Saga series. The werewolf is kind of a shapeshifter, but one that has traditionally had little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization excuse me, and wild animal nature fights inside the one body. The vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Which one, though, is the dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature? One that is wild, free, and connected to nature. And our radically civilized humanness separate from or dominant over nature. The werewolf asks us to consider this balance and to delve into our own ideas of wildness, independence, and custodianship of the planet. When is the last time you spent all day outside? When is the last time you threw your head back and howled at the moon? Do you quash the vitality and curiosity of your body and mind by sitting all day in front of a computer? Yeah, sometimes I do. <laughs> the werewolf challenges you to weave a balance between nature and your own nature. Like, mother nature and your nature. So, that's a pretty good definition. So basically, um, you know... Look at this card. It's a full moon. And I always joke about, you know, never get bit on a full moon because it'll turn you into a werewolf. And uh, but basically what the cards are to say on this full moon, think about, you know, what you keep hidden inside that's wild. Like, are you naturally someone who goes out and parties all the time? Or do you, like, reserve your wildness for, like, minor stuff, you know? Are you already a wild child or are you just hiding the wildness inside of you? So it's Friday and it's a full moon. So right there that should say something. Uh, 
but due to the weather, I would be careful if you plan on going out and partying tonight, at least where I'm at. Um, we've had a lot of accidents. It's been really rainy. We've had a mixture of snow and rain uh, since yesterday. Uh, lots of flooding going on. So if you're going to be wild, at least do it locally and do it safely. <laughs> if that's even a thing. Um, or, you know, think about what you want to do uh, tonight on this full moon. Uh, maybe you want to get wild in a different way. Maybe you don't have to go out to get wild. Maybe you can get wild at home. Have a party at home. Um, you know, you know, smoke some weed or something. And, hey, I'm not condoning that for people where it's not legal yet. So, <laughs> you know, whatever your your version of wildness is, you know, whether it's, you know, drinking responsibly, having a party, um, binge watching, like, a whole TV series, whatever it is, whatever your thing is, um, have fun, let your wildness out, take a break. Don't hold back anymore. Maybe think about, you know, maybe take this time tonight to to go out more into nature. Because we may be human, but we also have animalistic tendencies. You know, sex, uh, let's see, uh, loving uh, eating stuff, um partying, socializing a lot. Um, I mean, this isn't all bad stuff in moderation, of course, but you know, do something wild, do something you've never done before. Like, you know, skinny dipping in the local pool or which, you know, could be illegal. So I don't highly recommend it, but it's just an example or going swimming naked in the ocean. Just got to be careful because you can, you know, get hypothermia, but it's just an example of being wild. When we were kids, what did you do when we were kids that was considered wild? And if you're an adult like me, you tend to reserve your wildness because you're probably a parent and you don't want your kids to, like, go nuts. But if you look at your kids, they're wild, right? Because they, they're they carefree and they have nothing to worry about yet. So think about it tonight. Do something wild tonight. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Uh, if you have to, if the weather's decent, maybe go out for a nice nature walk. Uh, look at the full moon. Uh, unfortunately tonight, unless the weather clears, I'm not going to be able to see the full moon, which is pretty sad. We've had a lot of rain and we're, we're expecting snow in the next few days. So, hey, you know, if it is snowing, maybe go out and just play in the snow. Go out in nature. Get away from the computer. You know, go wild and do something fun. You know, within moder within reason, I'm just saying moderation, but within reason. And make sure it's legal. And if it is illegal, don't tell anybody. <laughs> and just be safe. But yeah, hey, what are the odds I picked this card of all cards on a full moon, a wolf moon at that? <laughs> Obviously, this is a deck that I was uh, uh, thinking about checking and doing. Um, I was going to use my dragon deck, but... It didn't speak to me as much today. Like, I did try, try to draw some cards from it. And I was like, mm, eh, it's a full moon. I'm not really sure I'm feeling the dragon cards. So I put them away. I think the dragons. And put the car, the deck away. And I said, no, let me use a Halloween or oracle. I mean, yes, it's Halloween themed. But you could use it any day. And it's a full moon. So why not? That's perfect. And so I was shuffling, like, good, like, nine, uh, like, nine times. Uh, like three, I go three, six, nine, and then draw one card and boom, I swear. Like it just popped out. And I was like, that is so perfect. I mean, obviously this was the deck to use. And, uh, oh, also the moon is about using your intuition. Uh, full moons are good for making wishes. Uh, you can make a wish tonight. Um, it's also good for, um, letting stuff go. Full moon, because once the full moon is over, it will start waning, and that's when you want to let things go. So, think about this. Letting go, uh, being reserved, and letting out your wildness tonight. That is the theme that this card is trying to say. So, let yourself go. Go wild. Do something crazy. Do something fun, if only for just tonight, because it's Friday. Get out there. Go Go have fun. Get wild. Get crazy. 
you know, just don't kill anyone. <laughs> Try not to anyone. Anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's Friday. Have fun. Go to the theaters. Have a few drinks with a few friends. Drive responsibly, obviously. Take an Uber. Don't drive. Just take an Uber. Um, smoke weed, if it's legal. Um, have some crazy sex with somebody, but wrap it up. Be safe. And obviously, this is an adult reading now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, speaking of wild, the weather outside is kind of wild right now. It's pounding on my skylight. And my cat is behind me licking her butt. How crazy. Are you going wild, kitty? She's like, yep, I'm licking my butt. So, hope this resonated with you guys. Uh, this is some good spiritual advice. Uh, something fun, something different. If it resonated with you, or if you feel like that is something that maybe you should be doing tonight or today, go for it. Um, leave a comment in the section for me, please. Uh, if it did resonate with you, if didn't apply to you, that's okay. It's just a general reading, energy, advice reading. Um, hope you guys have a happy full moon, full wolf moon of January 2020. Uh, please like and share, thumbs up, whatever. Spread the, spread the goodness of the oracle readings. Have a good one.